People heads are listening and they're saying this is an open conversation. What do you suggest when it comes to the uniform issue? Um, thank you, Trevor. And I, I think the parents of this country have been speaking and they have spoken severally. Parents of this country do not want to buy uniforms in schools. Parents of this country do not want to be subjected to procurement processes, yet they can themselves procure. I want to give you an example here of a fee structure that have been sent by a parent to just underscore what I am saying is that you're given a raft of so many things. First and foremost, the problem that parents are having is with the, the number of items. There are so many unnecessary items that have made their way to a list that is being called the uniform list. I, I, I would wish um, uh, my good friend uh, Indimuli to rationalize why should we procure in school? Is it, is it cost effective to the parents or who is it benefiting? Because if it is cheaper for the parent, then I think it is, it is encouraged that we proceed that way. But like he has, he has said, severally, um, you've bought an item in school. It is so poor quality, yet you have bought it at three times the cost that you should have gotten it from the shop. Now, the, the, the problem we are having here is that, for example, that you are instructed by the school that all these uniforms should be purchased in school. And they proceed to give you an account, a bank account number. So that the cost of this, uh, for example, this fee structure I'm holding now is 29,950. So you will not be admitted until you, ha you have that banking slip that you have banked 29,350. Uh, 29, you must bank it in school. Yet the items here are two scats. 1,600, we all know that the cost of one cut cannot be 800 if you want to go and buy it at the local shop. Those are some of the small conversations people are having. Then it proceeds to say two blou three blouses is okay, sweater, windbreakers, the socks, three pairs, tie, t-shirt, wrap skirt, bed cover, bed sheets, blankets, fleece jacket. There is a big conversation that needs to go on about a fleece jacket. Why do you need a fleece jacket for 3,500 shillings, yet you have a sweater, you have a windbreaker, you proceed to have leg warmers, scarf, marvins, shoes, and into brackets, tafis. It looks a small conversation, Trevor, but a child in Madare, why do they need to walk into a butter shop to buy tafis? If they had a black shoe that they were using when they were in primary school and the shoe is still in good quality, why wouldn't that child be allowed to proceed with that particular shoe? So you want a family in Madare to go to butter and, and get 2,800 for tafis, yet they can go to Mtumba and collect a black shoe at 1,000 Kenya Bob. They proceed to ask for white rubber shoes into brackets, butter bullets for 1,000. If you walk into Mtumba, 300 sh shillings, you have a very good rubber shoe. They want a track suit, uh, they want games kit into brackets, Adidas, they want weekend wear, weekend wear. So by the end of the day, yeah. Trevor, I know some people are looking at me and, and they are thinking that this is a very small conversation to have. It is not a small conversation. I know there is a family that wants to take their child to a high school and is wondering, really, do we need, do we need all this? I wish the school just asked me for a white shirt, um, a, a, a brown trouser and some black shoes and my child walked into the school, yeah. I wish they could, when we were going to school, we didn't have weekend wear, we didn't have an alternative for a, a, a games kit, and another one they are calling a tracksuit, we did not have all that. Okay. Why have we started complicating issues? I remember the background of what we are talking about, we are coming from 2003, Trevor, when there was declared free education in this country, and one million children came back. That is to tell you, the 70 shillings that was being asked had cost one million children to stay away. Okay. It is not a small conversation, yeah. and we refuse to make it small. Okay. As long as there is one child that is being left behind, we are going to fight any policy that marginalizes one child of this country from okay. accessing those schools.